So I finally decided to do this test, see how much energy we can generate from a passively cooled big reactor with everything maxed out beyond belief. So big reactors is a mod we've used in mine. I've used it in ultra modded survival in Sky Factory. If you've caught any of the streams or the VODs on the second channel of that, there are still some of you who are probably not familiar with it. It's a mod that allows you to generate RF, which is a power source for a lot of Minecraft mods out of these multi-block reactor structures here. And I guess if you don't have a background in it, it'll be hard to sort of uh, understand the relative amounts of power that we'll be generating here, but I'll, I'll try to explain it via my reactions to it. Anyway, first off, had to do a couple of tests. I wanted to see what the most efficient way was to arrange the, the big reactor. You'll have to pardon some of the lag. You'll see why it's happening in just a second. <laughs> um, so I wanted to see, well, what's the most efficient way to cool this thing? Is it the, the sugar cane organization method? So this is like the best way to harvest sugar cane here because every one of these blocks, there's a fuel rod under all of the white caps. There's cryothium. That's the most efficient cooling fluid. Um, or, or coolant source that's under all of the ones that have snow because it's cold and causing snow to form on top of it so each of these have at least one face uh, on the cryothium in order to cool it so that's one option then we also have this which is the the way we're doing it in sky factory with the checkerboard pattern and then i also tried it this way because this provides a buffer between the center and the casing so because part of the the heat is is in the casing that's one of the measurements here and that can cause the power to uh be it can be less efficient and then anyway so let's start all these three up and we'll see which one i i mean i know which one is gonna work the best, but I wanted to demo it just so everyone can be sure with me. Now there may technically, as we get bigger and bigger with this, um, there's a chance one of them could uh, start coming close to the other. But anyway, now let's check out what these things are generating. So you're going about uh, almost 16,000 RF per tick. You're going approximately 14.3 thousand RF per tick and you are going 12.2,000 RF per tick. Now we can rule this one out pretty much immediately. However, you're like, okay, well obviously this one is the best. Well, not so fast. This one is using 0.43 millibuckets per tick, whereas this one, and that's the amount of eulorium, so there's fuel in here. Uh, if you're not familiar with big reactors, it uses this eulorium fuel to power it. That's the yellow stuff inside these fuel rods here that shows up when you insert this in. And so that's how much it's using. This one, on the other hand, is generating 14.3 with almost half of the usage. So this is far better. It generates slightly less, but it's far, far more efficient. And for that reason, I was like, okay, so this arrangement is probably actually the best. It turns out having more contact with the coolant, the cryothium, is better. It makes things more efficient. So then I was like, all right, a lot of people are going to be like, we'll try the diamonds. Diamonds are more efficient. So... I put the diamonds in here in the same exact combination. We have the cryothium and we'll turn it on and it's actually not as good as the cryothium. Cryothium is, is the best coolant fluid for a, uh, well, or coolant thing because diamond's not a fluid. Uh, so we get up to 13.8 here. Need I remind you, we are at 14.3, so it's slightly better. Diamond's pretty good still, but uh, not quite as good as cryothium. So. We've now learned this is the best setup. So we take it to full scale. <laughs> Good God. This is 32 by 32 base by 48 height, which is the maximum as designated by the default config for big reactors. This is as big as you can go. It's a lot of stuff. I used MC edit to put this together because it's, it's a lot. And this is why I, the frame rate's slightly laggy, because there are some lighting issues with all this stuff on the inside. Anyway, it's substantial. So substantial, in fact, that watch, watch this. I put in some eulorium. I put in some eulorium, but we need to fill it up even more to get the maximum power out of this. So just to put this in perspective, this thing has a maximum capacity of 276,000 millibuckets, Minecraft buckets of, of eulorium. This one over here, 82.8 million. Um, yeah, so this is 58.2% uh, full right now. Let me show you, let me show you how much eulorium this thing can take. Cause you're gonna be like, wait, what? Wait a minute. 
Let's just, just throw a few stacks, a few stacks of 64 blocks. This is probably going to be hard to grasp again if you have no background in, in watching any of the series I've done with big reactors. I think the Mayanite one that we had with the whole actively cooled setup, which actively cooled, you can't go as big as this, I don't think. Um, that was generating, what, 20 something thousand RF per tick? Anyway, let's just throw all this stuff into the input. Mm, yep, you know, and you can watch watch as the yellow expands as I put this in. Just watch it little by little expand as I throw in. <laughs> it wants, this is a Sky Factory challenge to, to do this, to make the biggest big reactor possible and cool it with diamond or something like that. No, let's just keep throwing it in. It's almost there. It's almost there. We're getting close. It actually might be in this. Yep, yeah, we got it, I think. Did we get it? Hold on, are we there? We're there! We did it! We maxed it out! We're 100% full! Alright! So now, I don't actually even know how much this is gonna generate. I saw... With, with it, like, halfway, it was generating a lot. We'll just go with that. So! Drum roll, please! Again, put this in perspective, Mayanite was generating probably around, I can't remember for sure, twenty to 30,000 RF per tick. Here we go! We are at uh, 1.4 million and still climbing. 1.5, 1.6 million RF. It's very hot. Uh, probably don't want to touch that. And, and let's see how quickly this thing produces. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh my god, it's consuming so much. Holy crap. 1.85 million, 1.86 million RF per tick. Now, now, just so we can see how quickly this generates energy, and it's lagging like crazy because we got lots of stuff going on with the lighting updates and whatnot in there. It's the actual generation of energy shouldn't be laggy, but it's just there's a lot of lighting issues going on. Anyway, so I have a Tesseract here on the power output. Tesseract's on channel one. I'm going to swap this doohickey over to channel one. We have 12.43 million out of 356 billion possible storage in here. Uh, let's just switch this over to frequency one. Boom. And here we go. Let's see how quickly this fills up. Um, another hundred million, and a hundred million, and another hundred million. Okay, so, hey, we would have beat the Sky Factory challenge for generating a million RF per tick if we did, but this, how am I going to do that? It's survival in Sky Factory. Are you kidding me? And we are almost a billion RF stored up in here. Yeah. All right. So that's, um, that's big reactors, passively cooled, maxed out. Now, maybe there's, there might be a different configuration. Now, potentially, if we did do this configuration over here, potentially it would be generating ever so slightly more power, but it would be using so much more energy that it would decline. This, this should produce more energy over its lifetime than this one, even though it might not be maxing out the RF per tick in, in the same fashion. So, looks like we're maxing out just about 1.89 million RF per tick. Whew, all right. Well, hopefully that was of interest to most people. I don't know how many people are like familiar enough with, with the series in which I've used big reactors before to have a sense of perspective on this, but that's, that's pretty much that. I did it for myself at the very least because I thought it was interesting. I like experimenting with things like this, so I hope you've enjoyed. This is <laughs> just generating billions and billions of RF for This is a draconic evolution energy storage thing, by the way. Uh, not having to do with big reactors, but they all do RF related energy storage and stuff. So, um, anyway, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be uh, very, very much appreciated. This is what the top of the thing looks like, by the way. You have a nice game of uh, checkers or chess on there. Very, very big. Um, <laughs> a lot of, lot of fuel rods in there. Lots of fuel rods to fill up. This is why it took so long to fill them all up with the Eulorium. Anyway, uh, that's all. A rating would be much appreciated if you did enjoy. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. There might be, again, there might be a better way, but this is, this is pretty much almost as maxed out as you can get. So, that's all. I'll see you next time.